Oh, hey there. So today, pretty easy day. We're getting done by like 9.31. Uh, we started at 9.03, so that's 28 minutes as usual. Yesterday we painted the house in addition to some other things, and today we painted all the trim. And as you can tell, it really makes it pop, okay? Now, everybody, every time I do one of these houses, which is often, like, oh, either one or two things. That house is yellow, yuck. That house is yellow, beautiful. And I'm like, that hardy comes yellow. And then we paint it, so. To all you haters out there or people who aren't paying attention, we're gonna paint it every single time. We're never gonna leave it yellow, not one single time. All right, now spray foam was supposed to be here, uh, but they haven't got here yet, but hopefully they will. I've got a show tomorrow with JDRF, so I won't be doing construction, and that I'm sure makes everybody sad. I wanna to talk to you about the fact that I'm not a good typist, okay? When I was growing up, nobody really cared about computers or typewriters. That was like a job for secretaries or whatever, and and uh, nerds that like played on computers. Now, we're not tech savvy, we're tech dependent, and everybody types, but I never really learned it well, right? So like I can hunt and peck my way to, to death, but I'm not like, I see these people that do this and they type, and I'm like, mm, mm. if I do that, I'll start off and be like, yeah, man, I got a word. What in the world am I saying? And it kind of bothers me because, you know, I'm dumb. And I could make excuses. I could be like, I'm uh, typing dyslexic or make up something ADHD typey. Um, but this is what I think, okay? And I'm about to get a lot of hatred from a lot of you guys. I feel like, and I could be wrong, that things like dyslexia are like, I could learn to type. I could, like I double cap all the time. You know, like I'll keep my finger on the caps lock too long or whatever. Like I do a lot of things that if I took the time to like, I'm gonna train myself to do this right, I would no longer have a speech impediment with my fingers. I would no longer have dyslexia with my fingers. And so I'm wondering like, how many things like that do people go, oh, I have this diagnosis and they use that as an excuse and just never bother to learn the right way. I know with music and construction and any, anything else that takes muscle memory, which is everything in life, you learn it slow and you learn it right and you do it right every single time and eventually you do it right and you do it fast because you're in the habit, you got muscle memory. And I think it's that way with other stuff, but then we learn it wrong and then we like can't, won't unlearn it. And then we are handicapped or have a diagnosis or something. But I wonder like, are you letting your handicap be an excuse and are you letting it hold you back? Because you can change. Just throwing it out there. We're gonna keep working on this house.